Pooka. So, we're doing a barbecue video today. And, and, and a standing video. Yeah. And this is coming at school. <laughs> and, and we're doing a barbecue stuff. This is our new barbecue. Okay, don't open it yet. Let's open one thing at a time. So let me just tell our viewers what's going on here. What's up, everybody? We got some cool stuff that we're gonna unbox today. Ah! Actually, they're kind of unboxed. All this came in a bigger cardboard box, but <clears throat> it wasn't a secret. It says Cobb Kitchen in the box on the side, just like this one, but without the pictures. Now let's get to this. Cobb is something that we found out about a couple of weeks ago when we were hanging out with some friends in Phoenix. Our friends Kate and Ellen they are um, the Modern Caravan on Instagram, if you guys follow them. They have one of these. And we spent a night camping with them and we made dinner on their Cobb Grill. And it was amazing what this thing was able to do. So right away I knew I wanted one. I'm gonna have a lot more videos about this grill coming up in the future, but for now, let me just show you what we got. I contacted Cobb and say, hey, you know, there's a lot of choices. Like, what do you guys think is best for us? And the U.S. distributor. Wait, 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 wait. let the feed back. Okay. Hey, 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 that's a flag right there. Yeah, that's a U.S. flag. So the distributor the in the U.S. Flags. is a nice lady named Cornelia. She's originally from Europe. She lives in uh, Texas now, uh, just outside of Austin, the hill country. So she asked us everything that we were planning to do with this, what we wanted to do. We told her about our story, that we're downsizing. We wanted something that we can cook outside. We haven't had an oven for the last two years since we left um, the Airstream. And she says she makes cookies and bread and bake stuff in this all the time. So we got pretty excited about that. So let me just show you what we've got. So we got what's called a kitchen in a box. We, 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 we didn't see what this was yet. Okay. So let's open the. But, but, uh, but, 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 but I'm pretty sure it's the baker. It's the baker for sure. It's Hopefully, the, it's oh, the main one. Oh 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 oh! We get whipped off. <laughs> Comes in a bag. Oh, cool. oh, it was a really cool bag. Right, ready? Yeah. It's going to box. It's in the box. <laughs> okay. So it's got a nice, cool carrying case with the zipper. Inside this, let's see what we got. Oh, this is like a, a nice frying pan. pan. A, a nice pan. Okay, frying pan. Let's not take this out yet. This. What's this? Oh, this is like a. Hold on. Let's talk, let's look at this one first. Bubble wrap! This is like a really heavy, oh. heavy bottom heavy. thing. Oh, yeah. This is a. Uh, I think this must. You must use this to hold this. This is just like a little handle with two prongs on it. Maybe you use it to hold this, like this. Okay, so there's that. Maybe we'll, 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 maybe we can have a, like, a like, 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 like you not toxic glue to stick that on there. No toxic glue, no. Okay, so here's, here's like toxic. a little, here's like a little heat dip deflector or diffuser so you can kind of have indirect heat when you cook. It's like the top of it. What do you have here? Aluminum's like griddle. Ah! Hmm. Okay. Oh, this, here's some, this is a better idea. Here's some books. So I probably will go through all this and learn all about this grill first before I pretend I to tell you too. more stuff. Luca's going to help. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be back soon. Okay. These are handles that's mod that's labeled chicken roast stand. So yeah, maybe like this is where you like stand up a whole chicken in here. It's pretty cool. And then here's like a this is where you put this is the grill top, looks like. And then we get into the main grill pieces. Here is looks like the lid that goes on top. This is, uh, I think this is the little basket where you put your coals in it. Okay. And then, I 
got into a lot of pieces. So this is a little riser ring, looks like. So this is the inner part of the grill. This is the outer part of the grill. Okay. <clears throat> outer part of the grill. Inner part of the grill. Sits in there like that. This is completely isolated from each other. So the heat will not transfer to this outside mesh part. I, I found out something. What did you find out? You put the coals in here and then this goes in here, sits in the middle. And then that's a little riser piece. You can put... What do you do here? Maybe this is the deflector so you don't have to cook directly. Yeah, like that. And here's the grill. Is that right? Yes? Okay. Okay. You're gonna bust that box open. Oh, I forgot about this. All right, so there's a whole bunch of these parts here. I'm not exactly sure what goes where. I know for sure this goes in here because this is the inner part of the grill, charcoal basket. And this looks like goes over that if you want to kind of like cook something without direct heat. And heat could just kind of radiate. Lid can go over that. Looks like we can put a riser, a little riser piece here. Is that right? Or do I go like this? No, grab that. This can go over that. So you can kind of have the heat even further away from you. You can put the lid. So this is like fully configurable. Um, and this is supposed to be a little kickstand for the lid. So when you're cooking, this can just kind of scooch over and sit on the side so you don't have to put it down. So anyways, that's the main part of the grill. I'm gonna put that aside and show you what else we got. There's these uh, aluminum disposable sleeves. We got six of these. So this is so that you can kind of keep your grill in, in better shape without having to clean them a lot. And you can also, I think you can just kind of make these out of your own aluminum foil, just kind of line it yourself. That's kind of nice to have. Yeah, these are all supplies. The whole kitchen, the whole kitchen in a box thing is basically these accessories that let you do more than just grill, right? So you have like a frying pan, you have like a griddle, you have this other thing. So, I think the standard cob grill may just come with the grill itself with less accessories. I gotta figure out how all this goes back in here. And the other thing we got is their pizza stone. Specifically designed, it's a stone specifically designed to make little pizzas in this grill. This is gonna be awesome. Ava, this is gonna be your favorite accessory. We can make pizzas in this grill. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> now two more things left to show you. We got a utensil set, which is gonna be great for us. Really compact, really high quality. This will be like our outdoor cook set that we can use for anything. Comes with a nice spatula. This it's really heavy duty, like this stainless handle. It's crazy heavy. A little silicone bristle brush. Again, super heavy handle. It has this little lip here, so it doesn't fall in. This is, uh, which one of the Ninja Turtles used this? Raphael? I don't watch Ninja Turtles. We got one of those. And a oh, really nice tongs has like this ser serration right here so you can kind of grip really nicely. And what's really cool is all this fits nicely in this bag. Roll up. Boom. Cool, huh? Where'd I okay. put it? Last but not least, the Cobb cookbook. In here, there are 
They are amazing recipes. Ah, fully pictorialized. Is that a word? Pictorialized? I never heard it. Let me see. I'm just going to flip to a random page and show you. Ah, wouldn't you know it. Homemade hamburgers. Let me see if I flip to another page. It's going to be Ava's favorite. Lemon roast chicken. <laughs> Not Ava's favorite. <laughs> this is the Baconizer Pizza. This is not for vegetarians, I don't think. <laughs> you, can, you can cook vegetables on it. So, well that's it. This is our new cop grill kitchen in a box with a couple of additional accessories. We're really excited to start cooking with this. If you guys uh, are interested, I'll put some links down below for where you can get this stuff. I'll give you guys a more thorough review of how all this stuff works once I've had more time to play with it. So, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, you might want to consider subscribing. And if you are, please don't unsubscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next one.